we'll call this read your your email dot py. So the first thing we're going to do is import the IMAP lib. Import IMAP lib. We need this library in order to read the email. All right. Then what are we going to do? Well, we're going to use this guy IMAP lib dot IMAP four underscore underscore SSL uh, to instantiate a mail server object, and we'll call this guy M server, and he equals this guy. But we got to give him a little bit more information. We got to give it the name of the email server that we'll be reading from, and we also got to tell it what port we're going to be using when we do that. So space one continuation character. And I'm going to key in the rest of the information. I also got to tell them, uh, look, I know you're going to instantiate that server, but I, you need to know, single quote, the name of the server. It's imapgmail.com, single quote, comma. And I'm going to be reading the mail through, 993. That's pretty much standard. And I hit enter. And now, now we got to go into the basic login stuff where I got to tell the where you got to tell everyone your name, your password, and then tell the server to uh, log in. All right, so let's do it. Um, username will be gbool777, and my password will be equal to secret. I got to tell the M server to log in. So M server, I want you to log in now. Oh, uh, you're going to be asked for two pieces of information. Give them the username and the password. Well, that sounds great. What do I do now? Well, now we want to go grab everything that's in my my inbox. I've logged in. So uh, I'm going to tell the M, M server to use the select command, but select wants two variables status and count. And I'm going to set the two of them equal to the following M server, I want you to select all of the emails I have in my inbox. Would you do that, please? And he says, yeah, sure. Now, return that to the two guys on the left. He's going to return the count of how many emails that I have over here to the count variable. The number of emails goes into here. Wow. That sounds pretty good. Now, what do I want to do? Because count is the one I'm, I'm interested in. Now I want to tell M server to go fetch the zeroth email on that list. Okay, how do I do that? Huh. I start off with, once again, two variables. Stat. This time I'm going to another, use another uh, variable called data. That's where my data is going to go. DTA equals M server. This is what I want you to do. Go fetch something. He says, what do you want me to fetch? And I tell him, I want you to fetch. You know that count variable we had a second ago? Yeah. Well, the zeroth email on that guy, I want you to, in that list, I want you to grab him. Space, line continuation character. Yes. Anything else? Yeah, there is something else. You know all that text? Let's put that in caps. You know all that text? Well, what text? Uh, that's associated with the body of the of the email. Yeah. 
Well, uh, that, that text has a, uh, a user ID. Get that for me and hand that to the server. And the server, in turn, the M server, in turn, will pass that back to this guy. Okie dokie. So, grab the zeroth guy and get the user ID of his text and hand that to the M server. Fetch that and hand that to the M server who will pass it to the appropriate variables. Okay. Now I got to, got to close this out. Uh, a single quote matching. Oh, that, that didn't match. Close friends. Single quote, close friends. There we go. All right, we're good now. So far. So far. So good. Now, this guy over here, this DTA guy, the data guy, that's a two-dimensional array. We're kind of an array? Two-dimensional. He's got a row and a column, and row zero, column one, that's the guy that's got our text. I want that guy. Okay. So, system, I want you to, ah, I want you to print out something for me. You know that DTA data guy? Yes. Go to his zeroth row and his oneth column. That's where my text is. Print that stuff out. I want to see that. And then M server. Would you do me a favor? What would you like me to do? Close it all up. And then M server. One more thing. What do you want me to do? I want you to log out. And that's it. That's it. I'm taking this guy over here. Get him out of the way now. I have an email here that was that I sent to myself. My first one. And it says, Have a Merry Christmas, Santa. Wow. Holiday cheers. Okay. Okay, we're in our Python 2.7 directory now. Here's my prompt. And I've got a file on here called readyourmail.py. So, let's do it. Let's read your mail dot pi. I'm going to access that zero with message in my inbox. So I'm going to execute read your mail dot pi. It will read it and print that sent the message out. Give it a second. There it is. Have a Merry Christmas, Santa. It worked. And that's all I have to say for now. This is George Bull.